Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my acne coverage routine. For those out there that struggle with acne too, I hope this will help you out because this is my go-to whenever I'm just breaking out and I really want to just cover it all because I'm insecure about my acne as everyone is and I just want to be able to cover it up and not have people looking at my flaws but just me. And so if you have a problem with that, then go ahead and click off. But if you want to see how I cover my acne, then keep on watching. So I already moisturized my face and I just used this little sample that I got from Sephora. I forgot the name, but I'll list it down below. And now I'm just going to go ahead and prime my face. I really love this primer because I seriously think it's a dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer because it has the same ingredients and is so silky soft. Even though it is chafing gel, I absolutely love it. I think it works wonders. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with my Benefit Primer. Just taking the teeniest little amount and I'm just going to use that on my nose to fill in my pores. Now I'm going to take my Garnier Eye Roller just so I can minimize the puffiness in my bags. And just patting that in with my ring finger. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever HD Foundation in the color N110. And I'm just going to pump that once on the back of my hand. And I'm going to take my Flat Top Kabuki Brush from Sigma, the F80. Just pick it up with my brush and start buffing it into my skin. I really like this brush because it gives a full coverage, yet it's really... It gives like an airbrushed look rather than kind of a cakey look. It evens it out really well. And I'll start by kind of stippling it on and I'll go back and kind of buff it in. And the reason why I like this foundation so much is because when I have a lot of acne, I don't want to pile makeup on because I know that's going to make it worse. I want coverage, but I don't want cake. And this foundation just hides the color of the acne really well and it doesn't look cakey at all. It really does look like skin and that's why it's called an HD foundation. I would say this foundation is about medium to full coverage depending on how you use it. If you use a very small amount then you can definitely sheer it down to a light coverage but if you're going to use one layer I would say it's medium but it's definitely buildable so that's what I'm going to be doing is um, if you add another layer it can be a full coverage foundation. Okay, so that's just the first layer, and I'm going to go ahead and take another pump of the Makeup Forever to the back of my hand. Now, I know you guys are entitled to your opinion, and you might think I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but honestly, I don't love cake face, and I try my hardest not to have cake face, and this really looks natural. And I'm going to be mainly working that into my forehead because I have a lot of acne there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Glamouflage Concealer. And since it doesn't match my skin color quite exactly, I'm just going to add a little tiny drop of my foundation and mix them together so it can actually match the foundation. I'm just going to work that into any problem areas that I might have. And this is a really heavy duty concealer, like honestly this is the only concealer that I've had that if I put it on in the morning, put a good amount of powder on it, by the end of the day, by the end of practice, by 7 o'clock at night, it will be covered still. And it's so long lasting and it's very full coverage. So whenever I have bad breakouts, I love using this. So now I'm just going to go in with my ring finger and go around the acne just to blend the outside with my foundation. So now you can see it just concealed all the problems and doesn't look like I just caked on concealer. Now I'm not going to use my Glamouflage for my under eye concealer because it tends to be way too heavy and it tends to pull up in the creases. So I'm going to be using my MAC Select Cover Up. So I'm placing it on my eye and I'm bringing it down to the side of my nose up onto my cheekbone. And this will just ensure that all the darkness is covered. Now I'm going to be going in with my Tone Correcting Powder by e.l.f. And I'm placing a little bit of the yellow underneath my eyes to counteract the purple. And I'm placing a little bit of the green 
onto any red areas on my face such as my cheeks and my chin and under my nose. Now to set the concealer I'm using my True Match Powder by L'Oreal and I am Classic Ivory and I'm just going to be patting that on an Eco Tools eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pat that underneath the eyes just to really set that concealer so it doesn't move during the day. And then I'm going to lightly tap the powder onto the places where I put the Glamouflage concealer. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my Makeup Forever HD powder and I'm just taking this on a big fluffy brush swirling a little bit of product on and I'm just going to pat this in my T-zone and this is going to set the foundation and the powder so they don't move. And that is it for my foundation routine. I'm just going to go ahead and finish up my makeup now. Hey guys, so I'm back and I finished my makeup and as you can see there is no acne really showing through and so yeah, I hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel for new ones. Okay, bye.